Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon! Today, we're heading through the magical city Ag Aglis. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. Aglis? I don't know. But anyway, I didn't really change my setup too much from what I had before. I don't really care about status protection or having a little more accuracy. None of the enemies can evade your stuff here anyway. I don't even know that I care about the Dragon Helm on Meru, but I figured I didn't have anything better to do, so... Yeah, you can pretty much just go all out in this area. Nothing really special to worry about as far as the enemies are concerned. So, let's take a look around. See if we can find who brought us here. Uh, game? Was that supposed to happen? Oh, I guess so. For some reason, I just don't remember teleporting, like twice consecutively like that. Oh, hey, it's like a little robot, huh? So what are you doing here? Oh, okay, sure, why not? Well, where's the seventh one? I only see six here. Well, maybe Albert's just shy. Oh, yeah, I suppose. We kind of don't want to die. Oh. Nuts. Man, I thought Rose was trigger happy. Yeah, don't worry about it. That you know of, Rose. Well, of course the bad guys have all the ancient high tech. Because as we all know, in JRPGs, ancient technology is more advanced and reliable than modern technology. Absolutely. Whoa, a psychedelic bomb? Holy cow, that sounds amazing. How powerful could it possibly be? Well, let's find out. Let's keep going. What do we got over here? Hmm. Okay, never mind then. Remember that for later, though, viewers. That door will be important later on. Nothing we can do here, though, so let's just keep moving on. Now, this place does get a little mazy at this point, because you got, sometimes you have more than one teleporter you could potentially use to advance through the area. But there's not so many options that it's, like, ridiculous to figure it out. Well, we want to hold on to those items for later. We're in a water area. What element do you think the enemies are going to be here? Well, actually, most of the enemies here... Yeah, they are water elemental. I was going to try to subvert my usual expression, but... No, no, everything here is pretty much weak to fire! And since we're in a wingly dungeon, we get wingly battle music. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys don't like it. I think it's alright. But anyway, okay, new enemy here, jellies! And there is really not much special about these guys. Yeah, that's Dart's new ultimate edition. Wow, I was barely able to kill that guy. They have 640 HP. Let's see if I can do Hashel's Ultimate Edition. This one's pretty tough to pull off, too. Wow, I'm surprised I got that on the first try without any practice today. I would have done some practice, like I usually do, but I had, like, five minutes of dialogue to go through, and... Well, I didn't want to go through that just to practice. But anyway, we're talking about practice. Now, nah, we're talking about getting through more of this dungeon. If I can. Let's see, those jellies, they could potentially cast like some water magic on you. But it's not that much to worry about. But now we got one of my favorite pieces of headgear in the game. The magical hat that I really wish I could have gotten earlier. But I couldn't. So, but I do want to give that to Dart there. 
There it is. Yeah, it raises maximum MP. That really helps him out a lot, like with using Final Burst and stuff like that. And it has a magic attack stat of 50, which is pretty much as good as it gets outside of legendary equipment. I actually don't recall the magic attack stat of the legendary equipment. That's the stuff that's like the obscenely expensive equipment. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be using that. You know, I think the reason why I'm performing Omni Sweep reasonably accurately that now is because I haven't practiced it. So I can't anticipate when the next trigger is going to happen, so I don't overthink things. Because that's what happens. Once I'm actually getting comfortable performing additions, then I'll start anticipating hits and I'll be thinking too much. But here, we got a new enemy. Okay. I forget which one that is. Aqua King, I think. If I... Oh. Or you could just do that. Okay, never mind, then. Well, I guess I get time to work on my additions a little bit. I forget if this guy can counterattack. Yeah, look at the way she twirls that hammer. I like it. Good show, Mero. Did I... Yeah, I was like, wait a minute, did I get that last one? I wasn't sure if that I got that last hit. By the way, as far as performing additions go, I would try to give Dart priority if I can actually perform the additions, because I wanted to try and master Blazing Dynamo as soon as possible. I mean, I'm still going to give the others work, especially Maru, but Dart is a very high priority. He's going to be my boss destroyer. Especially once you, or once I can put that Soul Eater to use. Uh, come on! Okay, that's enough. Let's uh, make sure he can't do that again. Unfortunately, that physical attack barrier lasts for one of its turns. So until he gets another turn, or can't do anything, he, I'm not going to be able to hit him. Well, I'm guessing this guy can't counterattack because I haven't seen one yet. I don't know which enemies can or can't counterattack, really. That's more like a dart. That's also part of the problem with being so fast because I have so many opportunities to work on my additions. Oh, and I thought I screwed up on one of those middle hits there. Because <laughs> the sound effect of him hitting doesn't quite match the sound of the addition boxes. Or when I have to hit the boxes. So that kind of throws me off. I, I keep on needing to remember, don't listen to it, just see. Just look where the boxes are, don't pay attention to the... Audio cues. Well, thank you for stunning the guy after I don't really need that mirror. And for a moment there, I thought I was too early on that last hit there, but alright. So yeah, that's really the only thing with this guy. He... He can, he can actually do a magical shield, I think, as well as a physical shield. So, yeah, you gotta watch out for that. Sometimes that can be pretty annoying. There are some enemies that I am a little worried about, and we'll get to those soon enough. Hey, how's it going? What you doing here? Oh, cool. What do they do? Oh, I guess. But then, if you've been here, why are you? Why have you been acting so surprised about what's going on here? Oh, 
Okay. So, can you direct this to your leader? Oh, how do we do that? Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, we might want to just move on. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, the new signet? What are you talking about? Oh, okay. What is that? They're saying something about the new signet, but... Hmm. I don't, I don't really know what that is about. If you know, viewers, let me know. But I didn't think there was anything more to that. But anyway, okay, let's keep moving on. Okay, this part gets a little tricky. I need to go here, I think. Yes. Okay, good. What do we get for our prize? Oh, I might want to use that on Dart eventually. Let's see, do I go back to this one? You could go either way. I don't think it really matters. Okay, here we got another new enemy on the left there. I think that's Scud Shark, if I recall correctly. Oh boy, we might want to put a stop to that, but I also want to take this guy out. Okay, he can inflict stun on your party members, you want to watch out for that. I should change the camera angle. <laughs> I'm surprised I actually got that. Okay, let's go back. Okay, yeah, we can handle him now. Man, he deals really good damage, even without any levels on Omni Sweep yet. Hmm. I kind of wish I used Power Down on him already. Oh, too late now. Well, eventually. Whoever gets their next turn will use Power Down. Okay. Hmm, maybe it might be a better idea to crowd control him first and then use power down so he doesn't get another physical shield up again. See, try that one again. Oh, right, I forgot to use power down. Got distracted there. Whoops. Ah, well, Dart needs the addition practice, so... Okay, well, at least I can damage him. Eh, he's almost dead. Whatever. Oh! I'm surprised I got that, because I didn't expect that guy to be able to counter. He must have a really low encounter rate, because I think I've attacked him, like, 15 times by now, at least. And I haven't seen him counter until just then. But yeah, I'm not too worried about stun, especially since much of my armor blocks it, so it's not a big deal. But anyway, this is the way we get to the end. The other teleporter there? Oh. No, that's not the way to the end. This is the way to end. But as you saw, that middle teleporter, yeah, that just loops back around to where we got that treasure there, so... Yeah, nothing special there. Well, what's going on now? Are you going to say something to us, or what? Okay. Evidently. Oh, yeah, so she does. Oh, who's Saban? Ah, nuts. Ah, well, how come we haven't met up with them on the sea? On the boat there, you, you'll still run into the same enemies that you met up with on disc two, practically, from the undersea cavern. Hmm. 
Well, just because you know anything doesn't mean you know the right thing. Well, let's see what we can find. Okay. Oh, this is the room where they were spying on us or something. Okay. Oh, what do you mean by that? Oh, okay. Man, a lot of these guys live a long time. I wonder if that's just a natural wingly trade or if that has something to do with their magic or whatever granting them near immortality. What do you mean by that? You're not going to tell us, are you? Well, let's keep on going then. Okay, from here we need to go around to the treasure. Okay, down here, what do we get? Oh, more. Yeah, I'm getting a little worried about my inventory space. I did sell all those panic bells. I thought they might be useful against the rainbow bird, but it wasn't enough. Oh well. But we do have a new enemy, Sternfish. These guys, also nothing special about them. I would not use the heat blade with dart in this area, by the way. I don't think it's... I mean, the fairy sword is just so much more powerful at this point. Yeah, the extra attack power of the fairy sword, I think, outweighs the fire elemental part of the heat blade there at this point. Can anyone kill this guy? Man, that's one tough fish. But easy enough. Let's see. I think that guy can use that physical shield that the other, the Aqua King was using there. I forget exactly. And he also has some water magic, but nothing I'm really worried about while I'm here. But let's keep going then. Hmm, I wonder how we get to that treasure down there. Well, we can't get there from where we are right now. But we'll circle around to get that soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. Okay, this part is where it gets a little tricky again. Let's see, I need to go, I think, down this way. I really hope this is the right way. I think it is. Yeah, we're going the right way. Okay. Yeah, this will take us eventually to that treasure chest on the right there. Haha! -ha! Oh, right, my inventory is full. Well, I suppose I could use the... Where is it? The Sun Rhapsody on Dart. I was going to do that eventually anyway. What do we get here instead? If that was another Sun Rhapsody, I would have been like, GAME? Or something like that. Okay, now we need to get back to the Central Hub part where there's all those teleporters. Most of them do not lead where we want to go. Hopefully I will be able to tell which one is the right one. See, I think it's the most distant one. Over here. Haha! I was gonna say, wait a minute, is, are they gonna try and fake me out there, make me, make me think that I'm going in the right direction, but I'm not? Who's there? Oh, is that Savan? Oh, oh, there's the guy. Yeah, I thought they said he was a wingley. I was like, wait a minute, what? Oh. Well, good. We just came here for nothing, then. Well, yeah, that is true, also. <laughs> You've played this JRPG before, Rose. 
many times, evidently. Ah! Huh? Well, that's... I don't know if that's good or bad for us. Ah! Huh? Well, yeah, we kind of killed most of them. Ow. Did you help her with that? I don't think they ever really explain how Rose does the black monster thing. Is it like part of her dragoon magic? Or did, did some of the winglies help her with that magic every 108 years? Or does it have something to do with the moon child or what? Oh. Well, isn't it already sealed? Oh, okay, sure. I'm not sure why you needed to highlight the word courage, but okay. Oh. Well, you've been alive long enough. You don't really need courage anymore, do you? Well, yeah, we kind of don't want to die. Can you make me immortal? Like Rose? Huh. Well, okay. Sounds like a plan. Can we go? Or now? What's going on? Oh, there we are. I was trying to think. What, what, how do I trigger this darn thing? Oh. Yeah, I suppose that might be a problem. It better not tur turn out to be like the ultimate magic in Final Fantasy 2! At least the original version of the game. So, let's see, we got six of those little teleporter pads, I guess. Yeah, one for each of us. I guess it wouldn't make sense to have one of them be just black for the Dark Dragon, so I guess they just made it purple because, well, purple looks good. Well, actually, no, Thunder is purple. Oh, well, they ma did make a... It's more like a brown color than a black color for that test, but okay. I would think that Rose wouldn't be able to pass the test without, you know, her emotions, and, and courage is like an emotion. So, but she, she really can't do that anymore. But can we all pass our test of courage to unlock the psychedelic bomb? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!